All right, here is what we are going to create today. We are going to take our own character and apply a advanced third person controller to it. This controller will have features like flying, aiming and sprinting. So I just recently discovered this controller myself. You can find it if you go on complete projects and then click on free only and there you can find the third person controller. So go ahead, check it out and if you're happy with what you see, go and import it. So after you imported the third person controller, you can find it on the third person and fly in your assets folder. There click on scenes and then select a scene. If you need to save your change it, do it now. And after that, in your scene, you have the sample scene, which is provided with the advanced controller. And as you can see, if you hit play in that scene, you can already use all the features that are going to be included. You can sprint, you can jump, um, you can also fly and aim. So that is already set up for you. So I think it would be nice if we don't have this, well, kind of weird character and use our own or at least another character that looks a little bit better. So to do that, go over to the asset store again and I will use Max, so I'm going to type in Max and then I'm going to select the Max character. Then I'm going to import this really quick. And once I'm back in my scene, I have the max folder in my assets folder. And inside the max folder, I can find another folder which is called prefabs. And I'm just going to drag the prefab into my scene. And then I'm going to align my character with the shadow character that's already in there. It doesn't have to be perfect matching, but kinda. So make sure you align that. Then in the project view, go to your max character and drag him onto the char shadow. The char shadow is the character that was already in there before. Then delete the shadow mesh and the skeleton. Okay, so you don't see that anymore. And then take max, make sure there is no animator set on max, so no controller. Then go to the char shadow. And there for avatar, you now change it to max, since Ethan is not no longer there. And if you hit play now, you are already good to go. You have your own character set up and you can do all those fancy things that you just did before with the other character. Um, yeah. But now we also would like to take this character and put it in a different scene. So go over to your assets folder, create a new folder, create folder and I'm going to call it my prefabs and then click on that folder and then just take the char shadow with your character in it and drag it into your my prefabs folder and also the main camera which is very important so drag that in there too. And then we are going to go ahead and create a new scene. So file, new scene. And in my case, I don't really want to save the changes. Um, so I'm just going to continue to the new scene. So since the next procedure is pretty basic, to just take a cube and set it up. I'm not going to comment it and speed it up a little bit. So once we are done with this basic environment, we are going to go to our main prefabs folder and drag in the char shadow character. And as you can see, it looks just like before. And once it's in there, we also want to add the main camera to it. And then go ahead and position the main camera like a third person perspective that you like. 
also go ahead and delete the other main camera which is in there by default. Then go to the Char Shadow character and look for the basic behavior script with player camera then take the camera we just imported and drag it on the player camera. And then you click on the camera and you can see uh, in the player option we have to drag in the Char Shadow. So when you hit play now you can see that we imported the character and is doing all the stuff that it did before just in our new scene which can be adjusted to something completely else. So there you go. You have just imported an advanced third-person character.